A frantic search for survivors. Southern Gaza is now more densely populated than before. With displaced Palestinians packed into areas where Israel says they will be safe from the airstrikes. A young boy is pulled from the rubble. He's disorientated. What's your name? His rescuers ask. Can you stand up? They ask. He tells rescuers his family was at home with him. They were sleeping. Their fate is unknown. Others are still trapped under the rubble. Rescuers call out, hoping anyone still alive will hear them and respond. This is the harsh reality for Palestinians. A lack of equipment and digging with their bare hands. In the morning, they assess the damage and are still searching. This residential house was pounded by Israeli missiles. All inside are innocent civilians. There are no militants here. This residential building was shelled by the Israeli warplanes. It housed about 90 persons. The households together with more than 70 Gazans displaced from the north. About 22 were confirmed killed. The rest are still missing. Forcibly displaced, they're making makeshift shelters on sand. There's a lack of food and water. They make do with what they can. We evacuated our homes with nothing. The most challenging aspect is the cold. I wear my husband's pants to keep warm, and people gave us blankets. We slept on the sand. No respite for Palestinians who have already been displaced several times. Israel is targeting the camp with smoke bombs. There's not a single place in Gaza that is safe. There is simply nowhere to go. Asad Beg, Al Jazeera. Let's go to our correspondent, Hani Mahmoud. He's joining us live from uh, southern Gaza. He's in Rafah for us. Hani, firstly, tell us about these new evacuation orders the Israeli military has issued. Where is it telling people to go to this time? Yes, well, people have been ordered sharply uh, with a threatening tone in the statement as of early hour this morning. The residents of uh, the northern part of Gaza City are ordered to uh, evacuate uh, their uh, residential homes and the evacuation centers, uh, namely the honorwa designated shelters for evacuees. Uh, to take Salah al-Din Road and go all the way to the city uh, of Deir al-Balah. Now, Deir al-Balah is a central part of Gaza Strip. It's the middle area that separates the northern part and the southern part. Now, this area has been effectively separated and cut off from the rest of the, the Gaza Strip with a serious lack of food and, and, and water and, and basic supplies. It's becoming very, very risky for people to stay there as they're running out of every visit. Is there, there's actually a starvation going on in that area but people within the past two days were also told to evacuate the eastern neighborhoods of uh, of the gaza uh, uh, city and the northern part namely jabal refugee camp we have shijaya neighborhood zaytun neighborhood and other densely populated neighborhood all the way directed to the western side of gaza of the gaza strip but they found themselves under heavy bombardment and relentless airstrike. People had no other choice but to flee to whatever facilities was still remaining in the area. Uh, people in Gaza ran to a Shifa hospital to seeking refuge and shelter in its building. And now what's going on? People are told to go to the central part. Yeah, it's certainly but a very confusing picture, is isn't it? Hani, because for weeks now, we've heard, night, for weeks bombed. we've seen the Israeli army telling people to go further and further south. Deir al-Bala is not in the south. And when they do make it to the south, Rafa, for where you are, for example, is completely overwhelmed by the number of people who've been displaced many times. Exactly. And this is confirmed, very consistent what we see on the ground. There is this war is taken multiple levels now. There is the north and the Gaza destroyed completely entire every mean of life been destroyed the central part is destroyed by starvation people have cut off from the rest of the strip with no access to anything and now uh, Khan Yunus is under heavy bombardment but Rafah city it's double there is bombardment going on relentless airstrike but people keep him keep 
pushed into Rafah. We talk about a population that went from 260,000 people all the way to 1 million people in Rafah now. It's running out of space, running out of supplies, and it's not safe. That's the problem. People are told it is safe to avoid getting bombed in the north and the uh, and Gaza City find themselves under heavy bombardment. There are evidence of this within the past weeks, mainly this place and evacuees got killed in the central part in Khan Yunus and city and Rafah city just within hours of their arrival. And, and that's why there is a huge mistrust and, and lack of, 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 of faith in the Israeli narrative. And mainly people describe yeah. it as being vague, contradictory and confusing for the most part. The area Absolutely, they've been told honey. to go to is under heavy bombardment once again. They yeah. get killed in those safe areas. They're being killed if they move and they're being killed if they stay. That is Hani Mahmoud live for us in Rafah in southern Gaza.